The Ghana National Fire Service has been the target of an alarming rate of prank calls, which has become a canker in the operations of the service. Speaking to Joy News on their preparedness to tackle possible safety incidents in this Hamatan and festive season, Director of PR Department at the headquarters of the Ghana National Fire Service in Accra, ACF01 Timothy Osafuefum, lamented that they receive over 600,000 prank calls in a month a lot of prank calls come through and that makes it difficult for those who are in need of our services to get through to us when the need arises for instance in the month of October um, we recorded uh, in excess of 657,000 prank calls um, when it happens like that um, the system is just like you setting call waiting on your phone. So whoever comes first get through and those who come last uh, are at the bottom. And so unless those who abuse the system get off the line before we can pick those who are in genuine need of uh, our services. And this goes a long way to affect our delivery uh, timing. And so sometimes you hear people say we call the fire service and it took, the, it took them hours on end to arrive. It is not that uh, we took hours to arrive, simply because those who are trying to get through are unable to do so. There are situations too that those um, who are affected think that somebody have called the fire service and the fire service uh, is not coming. Meanwhile, no one has called. This, he says, poses life-threatening challenges to both the service and citizens. He asserted that the festive season exacerbates the situation as children are back home from school. Thus, he warns the public to desist from this criminal act. We have also experienced that any time children are on vacation, the prank calls uh, goes high. And so we are advising parents it is because the parents themselves do it. So the children are also learning from their parents. I will use this opportunity to advise both parents and children that it is a crime, it's a criminal offense to prank the fire service or any other emergency services. Um, we will be cracking the whip by trying to locate those who are making these prank calls and let the law take its course. So my advice is to every parent to advise their children to stop pranking the fire service. This does not only disturb our delivery time, it also disturbs those who are in need of our services. It deprives them of the service, much needed services that we need to offer them. The public is urged to refrain from such actions because lives depend on the service helpline. Only call when you need it. For Joy News, I'm Sweetie Abochi.